We started the production team by kid coming over and contacting me for uh, piano lessons and production lessons. So we started out that way and eventually he was working on an album at the time and he asked me about uh, mixing two songs for him. Like, all right, well, he wanted to mix him down at Slip Studio. And we got introduced to Slip soundtrack, came out so so good, I just felt that you know, I should pursue it more and then I asked Buddy to do a couple more tracks and then we got Slip involved. And I got so involved in it that I started adding my own artistic uh, pieces of music, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and uh, before you know it, we finished the album and I didn't want us to stop. Neither did they. So here we are, the Rat Bastard Day. I am a proud Rat Bastard of the first degree. My role, um, everybody has a function before we put all three ears on it. Um, Kid will usually start out a particular remix. The more role that I play is more of like the start off guy. Like, I, since I'm a DJ, I'm in the clubs all the time. And like I know kind of what's like cutting edge, what the kids like, what works in the club, what doesn't. And so from a production standpoint, I'll probably start like the building blocks up. Like I'll get like the beat down in the groove and kind of really see like, you know, what's popping. And then I kind of pass it off, you know. And that's, you know, that's when like Buzz kind of takes over. Bro, I alter some of his sounds. I, I just take his initial idea and try and make it bigger. And, um... So that's my first role, and then second, uh, because of my production background and uh, what have you, work with the mixing, and you know, we all, all of us have the input, but um, so I see my role as mainly being the, the guy that makes the seeds grow and then helps cultivate uh, when we get to the end. Is, uh... I have the studio, first of all, and I am the guitar player, so just like Buzz is the piano player, I'm the guitar player. We all have studios, but we end up doing the mixes here, because my studio is probably the most out of hand and most elaborate. He really like, I kind of build the framework of the house, Buzz comes in and puts like the carpet down and the walls and you know, and then we got slipped with decorated with nice paintings and all that stuff, so that's kind of how that process works. Um, I actually first started, uh, trying to play different instruments. I tried to play like the violin and the guitar and piano and actually piano stuck for a while. But I was really frustrated that I wasn't like a rock star in like point. I guess really the music started going when I started at the time when we got to the the rave and whatnot, she always thought those DJs were so cool. So of course with my ego I was like, I could easily do that. And I went out and I bought two turntables and started like practicing. I started out, you know, playing piano in local bands and arranging. By the time I got to Georgia I met Curtis Mayfield and he hired me on as a uh, keyboard player and uh, musical director. Through Curtis, I got a job with Ichabon Records as a staff producer. I work with all kinds of artists from, you know, old school R&B right up to, you know, Criss Cross, Acting, and, um, you know, and then obviously Curtis, Shy Light, Bang Bang, Three Degrees. So, I got into the studio business just sort of by the fall. And like, you know, wanted to be the rock and roll guitar player. One day I came home with a guitar I bought for five dollars. My mother said, oh no you don't. The Rat Bass is different from uh, other groups. I would say definitely like diversity, just because we are different from different genres and different like, you know, decades of music where, you know, we grew up. Or actually decades kind of dates us, so I would, I would just say different types of music. But that is one of the things that we have so many different like backgrounds where Flip comes from like a classic rock background and Buzz comes from more jazz and R&B and I'm more of like a club, you know, club background and stuff. So it definitely meshes well and uh, I don't think our secret ingredient is the music. The Rat Bastards, what makes us different from other production teams? I think the fact that we've got three members that are incredibly different and uh, it's very complimentary yet. Uh, the cool thing that makes the Rat Bastards different from everyone else is Flip and I come from a musical background. So you not only get the modernness of all the computer technology and things like that, we also can play instruments and we use those in our production. We've done that, you'll hear banjo, uh, you'll hear a sitar, uh, Fender Rhodes, Hammond organs. Uh, 
just whatever is going to serve the music. It gives us a, a different edge that other production companies or production teams don't have because we do we do bring the live playing aspect into what we're doing. Because what a lot I like to see is cheap is definitely getting to that, that level to where people come to us from all kinds of genres and ask us to put our production, you know, with their album and with their, you know, artistry or wherever, you know what I'm saying? Like that would be my goal for the group is just to kind of really have that sound to where people are like, wow, I want that. You know, I can, I want to get on that track. And then have people like, you know, different artists from trying to come and work with. I think that's where really the fun starts kicking in is when you can. I would like to see us start remixing for labels. I would like to see us develop some new artists as well not just from a remix standpoint, but as a production standpoint. I would like for us to uh, win the lottery, stay together, and keep doing more artistic production, because I really am into what we're doing. Hilarious. I guess I would say diversity, you know, Slip is such a skilled player, I mean, like, the way he plays is amazing. I mean, you could just be wow, that's gonna last forever, that's so cool. And then, and then, you know, with Buzz, it's like, he can see the, the clay and he just melts it and molds it in a way like it's just to a perfection where... How did I come up with the name The Rap Bastards? I've been sitting on that one for a long time. Every other band I've been in that I, they say, hey, we need a name. I, how about The Rap Bastards? They go, you gotta be kidding. These guys went, yeah, perfect. <laughs> I'm the 10. Those guys are 10s too, but they're two, both of them are fives. So if you add them up, they become a 10. Uh, no wonder I have trouble hearing you. Well, I'm of course a 10. I look like I'm in high school, right? So, what, 10? How high can you go? 10.5? 11? I don't know. I'm intimidated by the sexiness, to be honest with you. So if I, I guess if I had to choose one, which I would like them both, but I know that's not possible. I probably have to go with Buzz just because I know I'm a sexy guy. I'm a sexy guy. I'm a sexy guy. I'm a sexy guy. I'm a sexy guy.